Hello once again, it's Buffalo66. I have another handicapping video for you. You may know me from my Twitter page, Buffalo Hold'em, and we also post these videos on Ocelot Sports, and you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Well, it's time to talk Super Bowl. Uh, it's been uh, a long two weeks, just about, since uh, the conference championships, and everybody's dissected the Denver-Seattle matchup. I pulled up my swing chart here for you and uh, show you what we got. Uh, all of my models uh, have Denver as the favorites, and uh, we have a 3.75 spread, and Vegas has two points. And my models, only one of them goes over. The rest of them, uh, that gives an average of 45.5, a swing of three below the current line of uh, 48.5. Uh, pretty much uh, you got the best offense against the best defense. Uh, at, Nobody wants to go beyond a three-point spread. Uh, as a matter of fact, once it touched three points, a ton of money went in on Seattle. Let's go over to covers and uh, take a look at this game. Both of these teams are obviously excellent against the spread. Uh, there's no major injuries. And uh, believe it or not, uh, these teams have not played uh, that many games on turf. Uh, but uh, as, you know, as a, a favorite, Denver's 3-1 and one in, in this point spread. And as a dog, Seattle's 1-0 and oh in this point spread. It's uh, two strong teams. There's no question about it. So what I decided to do was look at uh, – I, I wanted to look at Seattle's schedule. Seattle has a notorious reputation, reputation of being uh, horrible on the road, especially on the East Coast. And they did play in Giants Stadium in December in a meaningless game against uh, the, the Giants – uh, let me pull that up here. You can see down at the bottom here. There it is right there. They won 23 nothing, But against quality competition on the road, Seattle really has not done that well. Uh, they beat Carolina 12-7 to open the season. Uh, they lost to Indy on the road. And they lost to the, uh, the 49ers on the road. And uh, they did beat Arizona on the road. Those are teams that had 10 wins or more. Uh, but as as a whole, I think they struggle against quality competition. I think they just had an easier road this year. They had a tough playoff uh, uh, mission, but they, they did it at home. Uh, Denver had to play a much tougher schedule this year. And uh, the other thing that's going to matter is the weather. And as of an hour ago, this is our most recent – uh, forecast, we have a 49, 51 degree high, 29 degree low. And the most important thing about this is that uh, Peyton Manning is 0-4 in the playoffs when the temperature is below 40 degrees at kickoff. And I think it's going to be right about 40 degrees. But the weather appears to be much better than uh, was expected. And that favors Denver completely. So let's go over to the sports book and let's see what we can find and I've got the game up here, and as you can see, it's uh, two points, and Seattle's a slight dog on the money line, but uh, two, I, two points really doesn't mean much. I, I actually believe that this game is going to be a, a seven to ten point victory for whichever team uh, takes it, and to me, that means that I'm going to go for the best value on the board, and if I'm picking a side, I'm looking at the Denver side, and if you take it to three points, you're getting plus 131. You're getting you know, 28 cents on the, the it, three's a key number, I know, but, you know, if you, you think Denver's going to win, taking them by three, and, you know, if they win by three, you get a push. If they win by more than three, you're getting great value there. And the other thing I, I, I'm noticing is that uh, uh, the over-under has crept up and up as the weather's gotten better, and if it gets to 50, I would definitely hit the under. If you look at the these playoff games that these teams played, uh, especially the conference championships, uh, they didn't go anywhere near 49 points. So if it gets to 50, I would hammer the under. But my, that's going to be my play is Denver minus three and uh, under 50 if it happens. So let's get uh, let's have a good Super Bowl, eat a lot of wings, and uh, we'll see you on Monday.